hey guys uh, you're welcome back today to my channel and uh, we're going to be talking about documents required for master studies application in the uk so in order for you to apply efficiently and uh, to make sure that your application gets through you require a couple of documents and we're going to talk about them today because uh, the reason why i decided to make this video is because i know a lot of guys yeah you find a lot of videos online telling you how the documentation you need and everything but they don't really go into detail this video i'm making is going to be very short also but i'll try and cover as much as i can within this short period of time so let's get into it you guys know that i don't like talking too much let's get straight into the action so let's go yeah but before I continue go back like and subscribe to my channel i don't know why you're here on my channel looking at my video without subscribing like what are you waiting for come on now let me give you a second to do that all right let's continue with the video guys so the first document you need is your certificate of course before you apply for masters one would naturally think or hope that you have uh, a a certificate well what people think about normally is the bsc but um the bsc is not the only thing you need when you apply for your masters what a lot of people don't know is that you can apply with your hnd you can apply with pg sat your postgraduate diploma or the work experience route i know if you're from nigeria yeah you'll be wondering like what what is this guy talking about you don't have a bsc but you want to apply for master like are you okay yeah but i promise you guys it's it is doable so of course your certificate the usual one is the bsc if you're applying for a course in the uk master's course you should have your bsc you know they prefer first class if you have first class i would mind you're in luck a lot of universities would really really consider your application second class offer is good lower good if you have taught class yes it's also it's it's doable there are a couple of universities that uh, um they they allow people with taught class certificate to apply they don't have issues with that and also if you have a taught class certificate and you have work experience in the particular field you're applying to when you apply, all you have to do is just drop a good uh, statement of purpose. We're going to get to that later. And uh, so, as I was saying, uh, what you really require is the B BSC. That's what, you know, that's the route most people use when they're applying for their master's. But of course, you can use, uh, if you have HND, if you went to Polytechnic, some schools do not, yeah, I know, I know some schools that they don't, really accept people that have each and but the other school you don't have to go to a particular school because what you want is a good education and believe me you will find it in the uk regardless of which university you go to the standard is already there of course some universities are well uh, known for because of their alumni and all let's talk about oxford cambridge uh, birmingham and the rest but it doesn't matter Whichever university you decide to go to, you will get what you're looking for, basically. So you don't have to sweat it. So if you have HND, go ahead and apply. Uh, especially if you have work experience with that, that really, 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 really helps. And the work experience has to be in the field you're applying to. So let's say, for example, now in your HND, uh, I don't know the course is done at each and level but let's say for example civil engineering or something and you want to go into finance you want to do masters in finance yes you know you have your degree in civil engineer your H and rather in civil engineering but you want to go into finance but let's say during your you finished university and um, got a job at a bank working as an accountant for a couple of years you can still apply for a degree in a master's in finance with your hnd in civil engineering so don't limit yourself when you're 
searching for your master's course just yeah your situation is unique so try and leverage on that whatever you want to do if you have work experience on it even though you have uh, the at your undergrad level something different even if you study yoruba but you have work experience apply and they will definitely consider it so another certificate we have here is pg sada the uh, postgraduate certificate so that's the depending on which country you got that from uh could be eight months to some 24 months so you can use that as a business to apply especially people with uh bsc but who had taught class in their in their distance if you it's always better to do a pgc or pgd that's the postgraduate diploma the postgraduate diploma is the well-known one so if you want to go ahead and do you you do it's better you go with the diploma rather than the certificate but it still doesn't matter everybody everything is at the postgraduate level then the last one we have is work experience route so this one some universities not a lot of universities though some universities allow people who do not have an undergraduate degree but they have a lot of work experience usually some use a baseline of three years but most will want someone with at least five years and especially if it's a management course it's five to ten years a lot of schools require 10 years for management courses but even if you do not have an undergraduate if you don't have uh, an hnd if you don't have a pgd but you have work experience and you want to apply for masters in the same field that you have that experience go ahead and apply and that's the good thing about applying to the uk they consider everyone on the individual merit so it depends on what you're bringing to the table like what life experiences do you have what qualifications do you have do you have anything relating to what you want to do is there any transferable skills that you can bring so don't let anyone limit you and do not limit yourself if you have one thing see the other things you have that you can leverage on to get what you want it's it's so easy guys so let me stop ranting and let's get on to the next one guys so uh, we're done with the certificate bsc hnd pg sat or pg d program diploma work experience or whichever one you have try your luck the most they can say is no sorry you do not have the required qualification if you have this we'll consider you and you work on whatever you need to get what you want so let's move on to the next one which one do you have next here oh transcript yeah uh, if you have of course everybody should know what a transcript is if you actually have an undergraduate uh, certificate but basically for people who don't know this is just a breakdown of your academic standing your your gp your cgp your grades it shows your areas of strength and weaknesses and for those of you that spent your undergrad partying and you know and clubbing yeah the schools will see it in your results well i don't have anything against partying anyway life is easy and fun enjoy your life but whatever it is the transfer basically will show you it will show the school all the courses you did and the grades you know you had so you'll be able to tell and this is particularly important let's say you didn't do so well in your undergrad but for the course you're applying you had great scores in your undergrad in those particular areas it will show on your transcript and the schools will definitely consider that so even if you have a not so good result but you have some parts that you know you did you did okay so you can leverage on that since you did okay in those parts apply for a course in that line well if you want that course anyway i wouldn't advise you apply for a course you don't like or you think you won't do well in it but if you if your result is so bad and uh, you you discover that you have uh, some parts 
some subject that you're good at you might as well just do masters in that anyway before you do masters again and uh, come out with the same undergrad so that's a uh, transcript uh, let's move on okay yeah for and for the transcript also. so if your result is not that good don't expect to get into places like oxford or cambridge it's just the reality you cut your uh, that however the saying goes you know cut your leak coat according to your cloth or however it goes it doesn't matter but be, if your result is not so good don't waste your time applying to the top five schools in the uk there is nothing wrong with going going for a school that is you know top 100 top 200 just apply and get in once you get your master's you can always get another master's then another then another one so it doesn't matter just get in first now let's get on to the next one 